So, just quickly want to talk about this. I got as a gift. Not something I'd actually normally buy. I'd buy the original version, the Gerbel and K. Goddamn trucks outside. Um, I got this as a gift. I probably will use it in a situation like this. It's kind of meant for as an outdoors knife, but not anytime soon. I'm sorry. Move the light over. So, quickly go over the thing. You get a plastic sheath, and it's kind of rubber coated on the outside. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, you can kind of tell it's rubber coated. All this is just hard plastic. Let me hit it with something. Get the idea. You've got a velcro strap to keep this on. This I've got in reverse just because it's easier to pull out with your two fingers. It's a fire starting rod. Uh, Phariseum rod. I got one of these. It's cool to have a backup. It's got uh, rubber grips on it. These little orange parts are rubber while the black is hard plastic. It's pretty cool. It's had a little logo on there. Whatever. Uh, normally it's supposed to go in this way and it doesn't come with any kind of uh, lanyard. I decided to put one so just pull it out like that if I need to. I've seen people put the whistle on it. That would actually make more sense. So you'd always have those two together. But I like it this way. So the sheath, you have these little signal things on the back and just says sheath made in China. That's great. You have belt loop. Uh, different belt loop for a different orientation, which I like this option better. But I wish it was higher up, like here. And you've got the other belt loop if you want to wear it, probably scout style, or whatever it's called, when it's just on the, on the back of your belt. So, Velcro wears off easy, whatever. Not the best option, but it works. You got a whistle, I'm not going to test it, but it works. It just kind of pulls out. There's no good retention. I almost wish it was tighter, but I kind of, mine kind of came apart a little bit. I'm sure sure. You can kind of see it just comes out of the plastic, so that that's not how it comes. Mine just kind of went a little bit like that, so don't try to bend it down because I think something like that might happen. Retention's still the same. There's a metal liner, I think, inside here. Yeah, can't get it into the shot. I don't know if you can really see the fact that there's a metal liner in there. There you go, it's that glint of uh, white that kind of runs down the side, I think. Actually, no, that just kind of acts as a reinforcement to keep it all together. So, you just take this off. You can take this off and you get that sharpening thing. Last ditch. It's not too rough but I wouldn't use it for maintenance. I'd use it if you absolutely needed to, and you could probably use this on top of the small. Just put it on a smaller angle, and you already got a good angle, because it's already pre-angled. And then you can take this off entirely if you just want to wear it like this. You want to just put it in your bag. You don't want the sheath, sorry. Touch sensitive lamps. Um, this is not a bad option. I would rather you be able to take this off, like uh, this would be part of the sheath, but it's not. So this would be rubbing up against anything. It's actually a much more slimline setup right now. I like it that way. But I wouldn't run it that way. You got two drain holes on the sheath. Right there. I'm sure I could actually just probably unscrew this if I wanted to, but not the point. Alright, talk about the knife. Get out of the way. It has a gray coated on it. It has a gray coating on it, sorry. So far, uh, the sheath actually, because I haven't been able to take it outside, but the sheath does scratch it. Let me try to get that in focus. Not that, but uh, this way. I'm trying to. There you go, you can kind of see something there and then there. And on the reverse side too, you can see it. 
Uh, you got a little fire logo, which is the same logo that's on the fire steel, because they want you to scrape with this side along the fire steel. Because it has a... Actually, the edges are probably like the same sharpness. It's a little bit sharper. But, yeah, that's how they want you to do it. You got lashing points to make a spear if you want to do that. This is a pommel to hammer shit down. Uh, one thing, this is not a full tang knife because the pommel is separate, so I think the tang ends somewhere here, just like the LMF. But the LMF K, whatever. Yeah, LMF K? No. Whatever, the Gerber, uh, the military version. That also has that because the handle is rubber, and so you don't get contact if you're touching the back pommel. Because that is, uh, the blade is supposed to be ele electrically insulated, sorry. Uh, okay. Big logo. Um, I can't remember showing it off as a nice bright orange, but actually it comes off as a slightly different orange in real life, or at least under these lighting circumstances. Like, a little bit more pink orange. It's like a tiny bit. While in the camera it looks like a safety orange, like I like it. Similar to that, I guess, in real life. Like orange paracord. I don't know what I can compare it to, but that's it. So, it does come usably sharp for like woodwork, chopping shit, but not no fine tasks. One issue I had, let me try to get this in, to stand. So you can't really, oh, you can't stand it. I gotta focus down on the edge. It's kind of hard to see, but that tip is uh, not sharpened properly. Let me get closest. As you can see, that's actually an ace, like an ace much for a grind on there. The right side is a bit shallower, and then you got the deep. Mm. It's a little bit just as prominent on here. If I can get into focus, there you go. That shows the grind up perfectly. How messed up it is at the tip. One side's kind of just really uh, steep, and the other's shallow, and it doesn't really run like this for the whole blade, but it is a little bit annoying when you have that on the tip if I had a good sharpening system or you like like a sharp maker by Spyderco I'd probably fix this up right now when I got it but I don't have one so that's really it you, get, you pretty much get that also the pocket guide no, I just left it in there didn't take it out I'm sorry I did take it out to look at it and then just put it back in there it's a little pain to get in but that's it um, there is a new like pro model out, which is they changed the blade style. I think it's more ergonomical and I think smaller a little bit. But uh, I still don't think they're worth it because the new pro model's like ninety nine dollars in retail for. Them. This still goes for like sixty or seventy ish. I forget. And it, I don't really think it's worth it because. Well, also, the blade steel is questionable. I've heard people say it's like an 8CR13 equivalent, or a little bit less, but I don't know. Haven't found anything online that say, states that. But if you were to get like the original one the, that this is based off of the LMF2, you actually know the blade steel, which is 14C28N, Sandvik. Sorry about the trucks outside. But you get that. And you get a cool sheath. You can get it on all black, which is just simpler. It's, it is a slightly, like, black would be a slightly frightening thing to civilians or whatever, but it works both ways. This is, I don't like the orange sometimes. If, if it was just like this orange and not all that, I'd be okay. Small little orange accents, but not when half of it's orange. <sighs> Alright, see ya.